So most of you already know this, but we have the privilege to live in a city of champions. And while Red Raider football hasn't been the last one standing just yet, our Texas Tech meat judging team has brought home its third consecutive national championship. Our Brenda Lipinski spoke to a few members of the team today. Brenda, they've got a real dynasty going on over there, right? Yes, indeed, Matt. It's actually the 16th win for our meat judging team. They have members on their team that have been preparing for this moment since the seventh grade and others who just started judging and all of them meeting every mark to bring home the win. Another championship win for the Texas Tech meat judging team. The group with a long legacy of wins stemming back to 1989. Students actually have to be able to look at a ribeye and without using any tools, they have to be able to say how big the ribeye is in square inches, which is really crazy. And then on top of that, the fat um, that's opposite the ribeye, they have to be able to look at that and actually be able to determine just by eyesight, how much fat that has opposite the ribeye. Assistant coach Taylor Schertz says it takes a lot of practice and hard work to do what they do. Friday, we go to a beef plant. Um, they all finish class at one o'clock and then they pretty much have their evenings with us practicing and working out. And then every Saturday morning, starting at 4 a.m., we are meet here in the meat lab. The team even traveling up to 12 hours just to be able to practice. Because of COVID, we had to travel to Omaha, Nebraska, anytime we wanted to practice on beef, just because it's not as accessible here in Texas with COVID. Connor McKenzie, part of the 2019 championship team, says teamwork has been a driver for their success. This is a big contest and we love, we, we love winning and things like that. We don't make it about the winning um, per se. And so I think that's something that it really just helps kind of lift a burden off of, of our students. And when they go in the cooler and compete, um, they're not feeling that pressure. They're feeling the support, the love, and you know, just the camaraderie they have with you know the other 21 red hard hats that go in the cooler with them on this past team, for example, and knowing that they, they've all been on this journey and this process. And Tech was able to beat Kansas State by 42 points for that big win. All right, Brenda, thank you very much.